And yes, <laughs> and I call this to order. Um, we have an agenda here. We had said in the past uh, we would have a standing uh, issue on HR. I didn't put it in because trees away, but in future we should have if we could please with that. So thank you. Um, and I would like to add in just questions for future corporate services meetings, and I have three that I'd like I to have one too. So four. We'll deal with that if I have number three, if that's okay. Yep. Can we approve the amended yep. agenda? So all in favor, done. Uh, <laughs> minutes. We didn't have minutes from the last meeting we attached to this. We did get them before, I think. Uh, yeah. We can remember what we made was just put them on so we have them in hand okay. to approve them. So we'll just put that up to the next meeting. Um, single source, the, the one decision request here is the single source report. I don't know if you, I had a couple of questions as to process. On the executive summary, um, the single source purchase requires the following approvals. A couple of these price points are above the approval for the department head that they're in, so we should actually probably articulate it as city manager through this if it's gone through the proper thing. So John Sturdy has one that is 33,000, but his level, if I read this properly, is actually uh, 30,000. Mm -hmm. So it should it should reflect in here that the city manager or the, the director of finance has approved it. Okay, and they have. And yeah, so and, and, I'm, and I'm sure that, but just to have the proper paper trail sure. that shows this. The other question I have is, the approvals are based on what time period? Because well, it, it says so. I is it just single source? It doesn't matter in a time frame. This is a six month report, right? Okay, so so any any single sources between January and June would follow these approvals. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't done on a yearly basis, and therefore we were getting half the report. That's uh, no, it would be, uh, and the single sources are per item, right? So yeah, um, if they if it's per that purchase, so if that purchase is a single source, then it will. They have to go through all the paperwork, and there's lots of paperwork that they do on it. It just doesn't. Yeah, we just anything. we just see the. Yes. You just get some notes. notes on it. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Sure. Um, the rental of storage space for the Hotel Rialto mm -hmm. is that a per month? Like, is it two thousand dollars per month? So two thousand plus per month, which adds up to a total of thirteen thousand. And that will that be ongoing for the, the following six months period, or is it a temporary space, or? It's, just curious as to if it's ongoing and how much it is per month and what other storage facilities would cost for the same use. Some people will proceed as well. We just need an answer. 
answer to that. You may wish to get that now. Or well, I mean, I can certainly provide it now and would like me to provide something for the rest of the council. So it's fine. But it, when uh, we converted the space to office space, uh, there was a need to have cleaning services, obviously. Uh, it is not an uh, automatic successor lens to you need to uh, assume that work. It is not a work at this point. And so we just contracted with directly with our departments to extend their existing cleaning services to do office space. Um, they clean through the downstairs. So that's a separate I'll just craft a memo to the council. Thank you. Is there anything else you wish to add to that friend or to this report? No, I think it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the, these, this is, um, um, we bring it to this committee because of our bylaws and stuff. We had um, brought forward uh, changes to the that bylaw a couple years and years ago, and uh, the staff suggestion was that we don't bring this forward because it's after the fact. But the committee you know, uh, re uh, again, confirmed that they do this, and so again, that's so something again I'll we'll continue to bring in, but it's more from the sorry, I shouldn't say after the fact. My thought is yes, we should yeah. because these are the sort of things that blow up after the fact, and exactly. So it's and, a good heads up. And I think I've always said too, in my uh, personal opinion, it's not a bad thing because it is uh, nobody wants to be on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, they are people are good and right. So if I could just get a motion to a motion to accept. Uh, to receive the information and push it forward to council. That's good. All in favor. <laughs> yeah, push it forward to council is probably not a technical term. Um, the third item is the one I added, which is questions for future corporate services. Do you want to the first person? Well, I don't know, because we had talked about this briefly. Um, and, and this is a, a bit tricky. Maybe you can assist. We had an in-camera discussion. I think Kate was there at the last council meeting. And I'm not going to talk about what was in it, but I did, I did look in the council policy guidelines uh, for the guiding principles for the use of public space. And I'm wondering how, so I, I, I one of the, the main guide, one of the main guiding principles is that number two is the city pursues opportunities to raise revenue through the use of public space. And the discussion that we had at our camera meeting, should I maybe maybe try and bring this forth to the camera meeting? It just didn't. It, it didn't seem like the discussion was following policy. And I pulled this after the discussion, and I'm wondering how we can enter into that discussion in an in camera because some decisions were made. And it wasn't based on, not to change the decisions, yeah. but it was direction to staff that concerned me that I don't, I don't believe council maybe realized this po policy was there because we were overturning it dramatically. I thought. In the, so I think the question. So I'm wondering about procedure. Yeah. So Karen, before we go in camera, I think the policy discussion you want is probably best not here, but at the GCC table. Okay. 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 Um, and, and just signal to the mayor that you'd like to bring that up. Um, the issue is a legal one with respect to the policy of uh, public use of public space and the contractual or the potential commercial obligations that fall there. And so it is an in-camera discussion which okay. they have. Okay. Um, so I, it, bring it okay through, not bring through corporate not services? Through corporate services. It okay. might be directed back here for the discussion, but it should actually go through GPC first GPC and then come back yeah. to here. And, and uh, Rob would have this replaced the okay. policy, so I think GPC would be yeah. It was more parks related, could, but. It would be profitable for Rob to be here as well, or to be at that meeting as well as uh, if the discussion can be undertaken without the specifics of the dispositions of the right. public okay. and the yeah, should go. Yeah. Okay. But, but I think it's probably a good question, so that's, I'm just not sure this is the right to handle. Okay. okay. Thank you. I've got three. Um, one, at some point, can we, that when you and I have talked about this, Brenda, yeah. <clears throat> a, a matrix of when specific new construction projects come online and how they impact <clears throat> the revenue stream as we go forward. So when 
for example, uh, the Hudson comes to substantial completion, the money that flows into us on the projected uh, new construction revenue and you know, how it plays out, because I, I think that that has, will catch council's interest in the future, but we don't have a way of tracking that. I thought we were told that we're not allowed to base any of our decisions on no. That's right, you, your development or you are allowed to council um, is not allowed to when you're making like these decisions. decisions. But afterwards, afterward, well, I think all I'm asking is a report to say, okay, when the building permits are already so done. specific ones that have already gone through, through the, the council process. So we've um, given certain rights for development to certain pieces of property. We then project future revenue streams that come in from that and you want to track if they're online or not, and are they coming in on time? <clears throat> because it has a profound impact on the way we then budget. It's like this is for information only. After, I, after I, we move. I, I agree, but I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, it's it's six of ones. Oh, it's okay. uh, what I would suggest is like a report back to this, uh, to this yeah. table, yeah. because there's lots of issues around that. It's, yeah. it's certainly in terms of how we project um, what our new construction revenue is going to be for budget purposes. Uh, we rely uh, significantly on BC Assessment Authority, obviously, that's where, yeah. the, that's where the information comes from. The timing is really uh, important, um, and um, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, issues with, proje with, the, with projections, because, yeah. again, uh, yeah. they can say, oh, we think they, they, should, they got the building permit, doesn't even have to start. Yeah. Um, okay. you know, there's, uh, I also like to balance it off uh, with projections for new construction with um, the huge amount of assessment appeals we've got. So um, council tends to look, because that's usually what we talk about, is um, we're going to get construction revenue of X dollars, or we, we're budgeting for it. And then, um, but I don't tend to talk as much about um, the huge amount of assessment appeals we have. We budget for, you know, I think $250,000 a year in assessment appeals. The last few years, we've been getting over a million dollars. So again, it, it's a complicated thing, and I think I, I always want to caution council from relying on new construction revenue for all reasons. Yeah, you've been very good at caution, isn't it? Not, <laughs> not relying on it. That's right, because it's... I was told that there's a report anticipated it would be profitable for a motion to come forward asking for that report. So that uh -huh. it goes into the work flow process and considered as part of that report. So the recommendation then would be from this committee to council would yeah. be to develop a report on, uh, whether, uh, on the issues around on specific uh, construction that's already been uh, um, approved by council, and then timeline of when the revenue project revenue is actually come on. If we know, yeah. and that's the yeah. that's, that's the, the thing that's that's the, is shooting in the dark. Hudson's probably a good example of that. Where yeah. The dark side plans, or yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's not something. I but it's not to get into the planning principle of. Should we take this on because there's new revenue? No, but it, 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 I would argue that it's kind of similar, but, yeah, but it's, it's just exactly. going in it. Um, the second one is, can we, and it's a motion to ask for a report on how outstanding parking fines impact the city's revenues, particularly with a, a list of the top 10 violators by volume, and I don't want their personalities, but the people who choose not to pay parking fines. And is there something we should be doing? Because that it has a flow, and if we then send it to collection, we don't actually get all the money. I mean, there's all that stuff. So I just I want to understand the size of, of the issue. And will that not come up in our parking review that's coming kind of slated? It's it's part of it, but this is more uh, the enforcement side, and it's just trying to understand the numbers. There are people who say, oh, there's lots of scoff laws. There's people out there who say there's not. Most people are very good. Mm -hmm. You know, most people are. Uh, if they get a ticket, they come in and pay it. But there are some who abuse the system. And so I'm just trying to understand the size of that. So it's a motion for that report. And I did talk to you at this moment. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Who could be asking for it? Yeah, because oh. I mean, I'll just go through it. You know, it'll, it would come through. <clears throat> the, third, the third question is a very specific one. Uh, Mr. Hawkins, uh, who has the park ads uh, proposal that we've sort of talked about for two years. We put it off because we were waiting to get through our strategic priorities. We today will be uh, endorsing the different strategic priorities. Number 10 is uh, increasing revenues. Number 12 is parkades and so on. And in there is the opportunity to say, where do we actually now send Mr. 
Mr. Hawkins, so he can move forward with his project uh, to do some parkhead stuff. So right. it's it's a question more than a motion. I'm just trying to figure out. I know he's frustrated, and I understand that, but we had to put it off uh, until we got through the, the process. So it's I'm seeking direction for where that would go. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I would think that um, after uh, with the meeting this afternoon or this morning, later on this morning is probably that question to see what the next step is to see if, if everything is endorsed. Because it obviously we're so we've got the strategic planning um, at 1030 and then there's a the budget that we're going to budget yes. as well. So between those two it's probably um, okay. I'm, I'm parking good. review too. We'll put it all in as well as heads. You and I did talk about one other issue, but I, I think there needs to be some more uh, information that, that's brought to the table before we bring that up. So I, um, thank you for that, and with that, I think we just need a motion. Yeah, yeah, we drew. Don't worry about that. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much.